Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and how to get your power back after she breaks up. The topic for this video is four key steps to get her out of your mind. We are talking about battle strategies, right? The thing that happens is that imagine yourself in the breakup zone not having your ex into your mind anymore. The reason why you might get stuck in the breakup zone is because the energetic connection that you have with her is still too active. You're processing it. It's still in your system even though she's no longer actively relating to you. She's no longer part of your life the way she used to be. And so clearing your mind, how do you get her out of your mind? How do you get, how do you recondition your brain and your mind to stop thinking about somebody? So I'm going to give you a few hints. Um, I talk about these strategies in other videos as well. This is to give you a little bit of a summary or an overview about the possible tactics that you have there. Number one is clear your personal space. You know, if you're wearing a necklace or a t-shirt or something that she gave you, that object tells an emotional story, it tells a story. Every time you wear it, you are going to bring her back into your mind. You are going to invoke that into your field. And so realize that your personal environment, your personal space has to reflect your dreams, your vision about what you want for the future. And so it's very simple. Remove all traces of her presence in your personal environment. And we are talking about also the virtual space, right? Check your cell phone, delete messages, delete pictures, remove all that so that you can really move on with your life into your future. Second tactic is stop talking about her. Every time you mention her name to somebody, every time you repeat a story of something that happened between the two of you, whether it's positive or negative, you know, whether it's a beautiful story or not, it's like you keep bringing her back into your field. And especially if those stories are not good stories, you know, if you are feeling hurt by something that she did, the fact that she might have cheated or lied to you or manipulated you or mistreated you or be untrue or unpresent or, you know, God knows what, it could be anything. The moment you start repeating that story in your mind, guess what? You are focusing your energy and your power on a story which is from the past. And so you have to be a little bit smart and aggressive with yourself and just destroy, delete those stories out of your self-talk, out of your self-talk and out of the conversation that you have with people about her, okay? Stop talking about her. There are tons of things you want to talk about instead. The next tactic is change your self-talk. So this goes a little bit in the same direction, but instead of being conversation that you have with other people, it is the conversation that you have with yourself. There is one core idea that might keep you in the breakup zone, in the breakup loop. It is to believe that you were meant for each other. This idea goes like that. We were so right for each other. She was perfect for me. We were meant for each other. Look at all these synchronicities and all these signs that tell me that she was right for me. My parents loved her. My kids loved her, you know, and so on. So this idea that there was something perfect out there before and that you lost this perfection and that now you're back by yourself, you know, that idea stops you from evolving into the future. It makes you feel like basically you are doomed, that there was something out there in your past that was so precious and so beautiful and you lost that and there's nothing more into your future. You look into your future and you go like, there's nothing out there for me. And so that belief or that story that you might tell yourself, we were meant for each other. No, you were not meant for each other. You were meant for each other for a certain period of time. Now your future is wide open. You are going to engage into your future with fresh new energy, ready to date again. Prepare yourself for new relationships rather than being stacked into your past. <clears throat> the fourth tactic to get her out of your mind is to connect with new women. You, as a man, you relate to female kind, right? You relate to female energy in the form of women coming into your field. And so when you are dating this woman, 
what happens is that you project or you receive from female kind through her. She becomes your channel for feminine energy into your life, for sexual validation, for love, for connection, for sensuality, for attention. She becomes the channel for those, those qualities. So when she breaks up, it's not her you miss. You miss what she used to give or how she used to make you feel. And so you will notice that as soon as you start connecting with other women who are ready to love you, who are ready to come into your life with love, connection, bliss, you realize, hang on a sec, those women are giving me the qualities that I need. And so your ex starts slowly, you know, dissolving into your past while you connect with new women. And so this is a trick as well, because in the beginning, you know, connecting with new women might feel a little bit strange. You might not have this resonance or chemistry that you used to have with your ex. It's possible, or maybe it's the, it happens straight away. But even if there is a little bit of resistance in the beginning, I encourage you to start dating again. You know, as soon as possible, you go on light dates. It doesn't mean entering into new relationships, but it means opening the space for you to be receptive, to receive love from other women. It's a beautiful thing. Okay? You get that, right? This is a battle plan. Clear your personal space, stop talking about her, change your self-talk, connect with new women. There's much more to say about this, but I'll keep it for, for that. I'll see you soon for another video.